Good day, Math Fam. Welcome to another lesson. Today we're going to look at quadrilaterals and we're more specifically going to look at the properties of a rhombus. So in the question we're given that KLMN is a rhombus with diagonals intersecting at angle O. Also LKM, angle LKM is equal to 34 degrees. Before we answer the questions, I want to go over the properties of a rhombus. The properties of a rhombus are all four sides are equal in length, two pairs of opposite sides are parallel, diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees, opposite angles are equal. Adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees. So the first question, write down the size of angle O1. We know one of the properties of a rhombus is the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees. So for that set, angle O1 is equal to 90 degrees. And the reason is diagonals bisect at 90 degrees. Diagonals bisect at 90 degrees simply mean that the diagonals are perpendicular. The angle that forms between the diagonals is 90 degrees. The second question, calculate the size of L1. By inspection, we can see that K O O L and L K form a triangle and we know that interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. We're given this angle, we're given that angle, we can find this angle. So we can say angle L K M plus angle O1 plus angle L1 should be equals to 180 degrees. The reason is angles interior angles of a triangle. So now we can substitute angle LKM is 34 degrees plus O1 is 90 degrees, a right, a right angle, plus L1, angle L1 is equal to 180 degrees. So we can isolate L1, take the other, other angles to the other side, 180 degrees minus 90 minus 34 degrees. Therefore, angle L1 is equal to 56 degrees. And the third question, calculate the size of angle K and M. So let's first identify angle K and M. K and M, so we're talking about this angle here. Recall that opposite sides of a rhombus is parallel. We can identify our Z shape. And we know that alternating angles exist between parallel lines that form a Z shape. So that would mean angle M2, this angle here, is 34 degrees. Angle M2 is equal to 34 degrees in the reason. Alternate angles. Alternate angles. KL, line segment KL is parallel to line segment NM and we can find angle K1 by virtue of all the sides of a parallelogram being equal so this means this triangle becomes an isosceles triangle and angles across opposite sides are equal so this angle 
this angle here is opposite to this side and this angle is opposite to that side so that means this is 34 degrees because angles across opposites equal sides are equal that's how isosceles triangles are defined so we can write k1 angle k1 is equals to angle m2 because angles across opposite sides are equal triangle k and m is an isosceles triangle so if we have a case where we have two known angles and an unknown angle in isosceles triangle k and m so we can use the property of sum of interior angles of a triangle so we can say angle k1 plus angle n plus angle m2 is equals to 180 degrees and the reason is interior angles of a triangle so now we can say k1 34 34 degrees plus angle n is the unknown angle m2 is 34 degrees that should give us 180 degrees so isolating angle n gives us 180 degrees minus 34 minus 34 degrees therefore angle n is equals to 112 112 degrees so angle k and m is 112 degrees i hope i've shared something useful with you please like the video and subscribe hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching